For many of us, digital technologies are a part of our everyday lives. We use them for work, for recreation, in our homes and everywhere in between. Have a think about the digital technologies you've used in your day so far. What were they? If you like, pause this video for a minute and write down some of the digital technologies you have used so far today. For myself, I woke up using alarm software on my mobile phone. Next, I made my toast using a digital toaster that beeps when the toast is ready and boiled my kettle, while being warned by my beeping fridge that the fridge door was left open. Next, I checked my work emails and online news websites on my computer. And then I checked the weather to decide what to wear to work using a weather app on my phone. I listened to music using my phone on my way into work. And then I used an elevator to take me to level four where I used my swipe card to access the staff room. And that was just my morning and the most obvious digital technologies I can think of. The traffic light sequences that I passed and the bus route are designed using applications of computational thinking. But we'll explore these in more detail in coming weeks. Many of us are using many digital technologies, yet we have little understanding about how they work and the science behind their development. How does information get to my phone so that I can read the news? How was the phone app made? How did the fridge know to beep when I left the door open? Some big questions that our students might want to consider are how can we create digital technologies to solve some of our global challenges or problems? These problems could be anything from developing software and hardware for people with disabilities to solve medical problems, for more effective online learning providing solutions for developing countries, to increase sustainability and more environmentally friendly and efficient ways to travel to work. Previous movements in schooling curricula have focused on digital literacy which is being able to use technology effectively and properly. However, more recently, there has been a growing international awareness of a need for children to understand how digital technologies work, how they are created and the underpinning thinking required to develop digital technologies so that children have the chance to be not just users of digital technologies, but also creators. Essentially, the digital technology strand involves more than being able to create PowerPoints, research information using the internet and being able to send email. It's about how understanding how these technologies and tools were created, about developing children that might be future creators of technologies and tools. Not to mention the curriculum features, computational thinking, which is a way of thinking and problem solving critical for developing digital technologies, but is often applied in our everyday, everyday lives already. The aim of the national curriculum is to strengthen this way of thinking so that children can solve and think about everyday problems effectively and also apply them to the creation of digital technologies. However, so far, much of what is taught has been via school outreach programs and little is done with the very early year levels making this new ground for many. We will be helping you in this course to unpack these questions and concepts relating to the creation of digital technologies and those found in the Australian Learning Objectives. We will be providing you with real life examples that could be springboards for lesson ideas and we will be bringing together new and existing learning materials so that you can apply them to the digital technologies learning objectives. In the remainder of this module, we will talk about how digital technologies activities can be included in the classroom and discuss some initial activities that can be done to familiarise ourselves and our classes with digital technology.